Hey, hey! How's it going, everybody? My name is Python, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new Ark Survival Evolved series here on the channel. And also, a big old Happy New Year to each and every single one of you beautiful people out there, my friends. And of course, I do hope you guys had a lovely festive period, a lovely Christmas as well. But guys, it is time to get down to business, because today, and for this series, we are playing the brand new Ark map released in mid-December called Lost Island. It's not a story map, rather like this list up here, but rather a random custom map, rather like the center, Ragnarok, Valguero, and Crystal Isle. So guys, I'm very excited for this. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the settings I'm using for my ARC playthrough here, there's going to be a comprehensive list down in the description. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, while you're heading down below the video, why don't you go ahead and drop a big fat thumbs up on the video if you do want to support this brand new series. If you're new around here, firstly, a big welcome to you. Thank you so much for checking this video out. And of course, if you do want to know when the future videos are out, hit the subscribe button with those bell notifications turned on. And finally, my friends, I know this intro has been a little bit long, but we will get into this thing, guys. If you want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs or any sneak energy drinks. So here we are, heading into Lost Island. I'm very, very excited, and I'm going to be straight up with you guys. This is going to be a totally blind playthrough. I've seen absolutely no videos or maps or any information, in fact, at all about this map before I started this episode here today. So, this really is going to be a blind playthrough, and I'm very, very excited to see what we've got going on. So, here's all of the different spawn points we've got Lion Beach. Ooh, very interesting. Sands of the Four Mouths. Wow. Lots of interesting stuff. So, we've got bays, we've got inlets. Let's go for the beach. Let's go for Kesler Beach. I mean,. Why not? We'll see what we've got going on. If I get freaking mauled by raptors or rexes immediately, then I know I've made the wrong decision. But we shall have a look, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Wow, it looks kind of similar to the island at the minute. Well, this is kind of cool so far. Okay, okay. Plenty of rock formations. Oh, God. Oh, the Christmas event is still on right now. So we've got these freaking dudes. I can't even remember what they're called. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the map real quick. Okay, so we're pretty much in, what, the northwestern corner? Or slightly towards the northwestern corner. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, we need to make a little bit of a start here. So I guess we'll begin with the usual. Get ourselves some wood, get ourselves some thatch, and also a little bit of stone if we can. So of course, we've got a whole bunch of crap in our inventory that we just don't need. Oh, I forgot, we get little chibis. That's cool. What do we got? A chibi noglin. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, we'll stick with that. Uh, we've got ourselves a freaking ton of wood already because I realized as I was running around and randomly pressing E, we seem to be getting random bits of wooden thatch just off of the floor. I'm so dead. Oh my God. Yep. It's, uh, this isn't going to go well, is it? We've got now two Dilophosaurs after us and I do not believe that I'll be able to do anything about it. Can I craft anything? I cannot. I guess for now, we could go ahead and uh, rank ourselves up here a little bit. There we are. We'll have that. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> here I am trying to level myself up. And these guys are just continuously following me. That's not cool, is it? All right, let's see. We've got a spear, a campfire. We'll take a water skin, sleeping bag, and storage box. Yes. Okay, can we actually do anything now? No, we cannot. We still need a little bit of flint. So the question is, where's all the freaking stone? Is that a little bit of stone I could pick up? Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. There's a little bit there as well. Okay, very cool. Get a pickaxe, then we can get flint. Then we can get on with the proper crafting tree, eh? There we are. So, let's get the pickaxe on our hopper. And let's get this thing on the road. All right, another level up for you, boy. We'll go for a little bit more weight, because why not? And what do we have here? Preserving salt. Interesting. Clay. Interesting. Things I've not seen before. Uh-huh. 
Uh, let's go for building materials. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good idea, right? In order to make spears, we need fiber. Now, of course, the good news is we do have plenty of little fiber deposits and uh, berry deposits around here. So that is very, very good. We'll, of course, go ahead and pick up just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm very aware of the fact that that Dilophosaur is right there. And I don't want to go on the wrong side of it. I'm going to make myself five spears, because why not? It's always a good idea to have more than one, because if you throw it and lose it, you're blooming screwed. Another level up for your boy. Once again, we'll go for a little bit of weight, and we've got narcotics, spark powder, all that kind of beautiful stuff. A fishnet. Hey! That sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to be happy with it. We need fiber, hide, stone, and thatch. All right, the only thing we don't have at the moment is hide. But if we start going for these Dilophosaurs and kicking their pretty butts into oblivion, we might just be able to do this thing. I'm kind of excited. I want to see what the fishnet is capable of doing. I mean, obviously, it'll catch fish, but I want to see what manner of fish. Maybe it catches treasure as well. I don't know. Now, unfortunately, the game is very much taunting me right now because there is, in fact, a blue loot beam over there. And I don't believe we are anywhere near the level to be able to go ahead and actually capture what's inside of it. So that kind of sucks. However, what I will do right now is this. Hi -ya! Yeah, that's right, sucker. Get ruined. Boom! That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get ruined, son. <laughs> Can't tell me out of the game, buddy. That's what you get for trying to kill me before, you son of a gun. All right, so uh, what do we have going on now? There it is, the fishnet. Uh, so it has 40 durability. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. We'll make a water skin and a bed and sod it, a couple of storage boxes as well. Must admit, I'm very glad that I made a campfire because my food is starting to look just a little bit on the low side. Let's go ahead and rectify that. I do need a little bit more wood though. Oh, sod it, let's just use the thatch here. Yeah, seems like a good idea. There you go. Oh, hey there, buddy. What level are you? If you're 150, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Oh my God. I mean, it's not 150, but god damn, it's near. So, once we get to level, I think it's 37 when you get a Tyranidon saddle. Let me just confirm that to myself. Oh, no, 38. Once we get to level 38, we can have ourselves a super high level Tyranidon off the freaking get-go. Holy poop sack. There we are. A little bit of water for your boy. And how about a little bit of meat for your boy as well? There we are. We're starting to look pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, when it comes down to it, when we do get to level 38 and we do get a Tyranodon, that is the point in which I feel like the series is really going to open up in terms of us being able to, you know, explore the map and see what's actually going on. But so far, this really does seem a pretty similar setting to just the normal island map. And actually, I kind of like that because I adore the original island map, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do. I think it's fantastic. And talking of which, ladies and gents, really quick, just to mention it, I did have an island series on this channel. It's currently unlisted right now because what actually happened is I wound up reinstalling my computer entirely and I forgot to take a backup of my island save. So I actually completely lost my island save. It's not retrievable, which sucks. So that's why we're doing this series instead of the island at this particular moment. I'm probably going to wind up starting up an island series, perhaps after this one's finished. Uh, but yeah, for now, Lost Island is where this channel is at right now. So hopefully that is okay with you guys. So we got ourselves another level up. Let's see what we can do here. A tent! Silk. Where the devil do you get silk from? I don't know where you get it from. Maybe there's a certain plant you can get it from. That would sound logically correct, right? Silk, you get it from plants, I think. Uh, but anyways, uh, we've got the bed. And, well, actually, the bed is about all we're going to use. Okay, cool. Right. So, as I said, I wanted to see what this thing can do. Uh, so, I guess I just sort of... Whoa! I guess I just sort of... I don't know. Wait. Caught fish. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe we just stand here until that counter at the bottom middle there goes up. No? Yeah, okay, so nothing on that occasion. What about if I do it over there? Seems to be maybe you only have a chance of getting fish or any kind of bits and bobs you get from underwater. 
Question mark? I don't know. I honestly have no idea what you even get from this. I like that the guy does like a hand gesture. In fact, let's go third person and then let's do it. Because it's kind of funny seeing him do that little hand gesture. You know, like, ah, oh, shucks. You know, when the fish doesn't actually come towards the net. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's have a look. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, shucks. We didn't get one. Maybe there actually needs to physically be fish around. Maybe it's not like Minecraft in that you can capture fish pretty much anywhere. Maybe there actually physically does need to be fish roaming around, right? Uh-huh. The question is, where is our nearest fish? I've no idea. Dun dun. Dun dun. Hey, buddy! You want to try it, do you? Oh my god, get ruined, son. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. Uh, what the devil? Nerdy glasses skin. Or nerd dry. What? Um... Is it supposed to be spelt like that, or is that a typo? Anyway, check it out. We've got ourselves another level up. We've got some more meat. We've got some more hide. And everything's looking freaking beautiful right now. All right, what have we got now? We've got a canoe. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Its storage reduces spoil time. It requires 10 engram points, though. Interesting. Right, I really do want to try and find out how to make myself a tent. So I might have to do a little bit of wiki trawling just to see where exactly it is we get silk from. Because I want to make a tent. It's something new to me. I've not really played many of the, of the maps in Ark Survival Evolved. Like, honestly, this is the first time I've played something other than the island in a long, long time. So yeah, give me a sec. I'm going to find out. Alrighty, guys. So according to the ARC wiki, I don't know how up to date the wiki is at this particular moment, but there's a couple ways of getting silk. One is through a creature called the Lymantria, which appears to be some sort of moth type thing. And then white and purple flowers. You can harvest them to get silk. The question is, do they exist on this map? I genuinely have no idea. Oh, wow. It looks like there's a whole bunch of coral here. Uh, okay. What about... Oh. Oh, interesting. So you can get stone from that. Huh. Okay. Oh, hold on a minute. Purple flowers? Is this it? Rock carrot seeds? Uh, long grass seeds? Am I doing something wrong here? I mean, they are purple flowers, right? I'm expecting to be able to find silk out of it, but I'm not. Do I have to harvest it with something else? I don't know, man. Maybe silk really isn't that easy to find on Lost Island. Either that or I just flat out don't know where anything is. I mean, to be honest, that's the more likely thing that's going on here. Uh, see, my logic in my mind was saying that if we are able to unlock a tent this early on, only at level 7, that tells me that the resources needed for that thing are readily available all over the place. But, uh, hello, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Anything going on? Oh, there's a bunch of fish here. Maybe we could give our little fish net a go. I think it might be time, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get myself up on here. There we are. And then, boom! Uh, okay. Let's do that again. Boom! Please, go get... Oh, there we are. Caught fish. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then you need to just keep clicking. And we've got some prime fish meat. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So, yeah, if there's physically fish around, that's when you get it. Okay, cool. So, it's not like Minecraft fishing. Alrighty. Well, I think for now, we'll give up on the silk goal. And we will just continue to rank ourselves up and see what else we've got going on. So, check it out. We've got ourselves the bowler, which I think is very, very good. We've got narcotics and all sorts of other stuff as well that we probably need. We'll take a door. Maybe a, a sloped roof or something. What else have we got here? Spark powder, a wooden club, a boomerang. Ooh, interesting. Oh, mama! 
So this is pretty much where we spawned, and over there, I think I didn't just see one alpha raptor, but two. Are you insane? There is no way in hell I could ever take down an alpha raptor right about now. I can't believe that two have spawned in. That is unbelievable. I was about to start making myself a little bit of a box house around here. But now I'm kind of second guessing myself. I don't know if this is the greatest location for that, my dudes. You know what? Maybe that little lake that actually had the fish in, that might be a good location to set up a base. For the simple fact that, you know, there's fish there. There's stuff to be had. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're just about ready to begin on our first little base here. I am, of course, not expecting this to be the permanent base location, my friends. Oh, no. We've got a lot of places to explore and probably way better places to set up a proper base. But for now, simply because we're sort of nearby world spawn, uh, I see no reason why we can't make a bit of a start here. So this seems like a pretty natural place to make a base right right next to the lake here there's like a natural entrance here too i could totally envision myself making walls here with a dino gate you know ah seems like a good idea so for now ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and make a bit of a start on some of these here foundations we need way more wood though so let's get on with it the grind for our first base commences. Yet another level up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for a little bit more weight. And what do we have down here? A glow stick. Green gems and crystals. Interesting. Not seen that before. Or oh, small taxidermy base. Taxidermy tool. Used to capture the dermis of a dead creature. Ooh. Got some interesting stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. But what I'm going to do is make myself a cooking pot and a standing torch. Because as you guys know from my PB series, I usually like to make like berry medleys, which wind up being an excellent food source for us. Uh, so yeah, seems like a good way to go. Also, I am completely encumbered. Ah, darn it. Alrighty, guys. Even more crafting going on right now. Check it out. Plenty of building resources going on, which is beautiful. Let's go for a little bit of health. And at level 11, a Morella Tops saddle. What the hell is a Morella Tops? Honestly, got no idea. Do you know what? I kind of like not knowing. <laughs> it means I've got new stuff to learn, ladies and gents. All right. So, uh, Bola... Oh, there's just so much stuff, my dudes. I really kind of want to make a canoe just because I don't know, you know, I've never made one before, you know? Why the hell not? I'm just going to do it. Might also be an idea to begin unlocking some of these here bits of armor just for, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of protection, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe we go ahead and unlock the remainder now as well. Yeah, how about that, huh? Uh, stone arrow glow stick taxidermy tool. Uh, maybe I just save up my uh, points for now. Uh, what I need to do is get rid of some stuff. Oh my god, my weight is unbelievably high. Goodness me! I always forget just how unforgiving the beginning of the game is here, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't wait for us to upgrade our stats even more. Raptor Claws has arrived, huh? Well, I am not entirely sure that I am in any position to be taking anything on right now. And also, Ark, I'm busy. Leave me alone. So basically, we're going for a bit of an L-shaped build. You know, nothing too out there. The little area out here, the intention is I'm going to put a bunch of crop plots down so we can have ourselves a rudimentary set of, well, crops. Uh, you know, narco berries, mijo berries, that kind of jazz. And then, yeah, all will be well. So how's about we go ahead and continue here. There we are. That's all of the walls done. And finally, we have the beautiful ceilings. Yeah, we'll get these bad boys in and then we'll just about be freaking done, guys. Hell yeah. All right. A uh, little bit there and a little bit there. And we need to go through this little door here to what is eventually going to be a little viewing platform. We'll have rails here. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of a viewing platform slash fishing platform. I figured that'd be a pretty good way to do things, you know what I mean? But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, our little homestead. Yes, yet another level up is ready for your boy. So how's about 
we go ahead and get right on top of it here, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves just a little bit more weight. I mean, to be honest, health and weight at the very start is pretty much what you need to prioritize as you start to level up. Uh, we have a fish basket. Okay, pretty cool. A vessel stores preserving salts and makes them last longer. Requires clay. I don't know where you get clay from just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've got a pressure plate. We've got wooden building materials. But I think more than anything... Ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping I'd have enough also for a stone arrow. But, you know, it is what it is, eh? But, guys, we'll be able to start getting ourselves some uh, decent stuff from hence here forth, ladies and gentlemen. Bow and arrow. Always a good thing to have, isn't it? A little bit of rudimentary ranged weaponry. Yeah! Putting down some standing torches, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, very, very cool. All right, we'll put one or two just outside this entrance here. And the remainder, if I can jump in my own house again, that'll be fantastic. Uh, we'll put one in this corner. We'll put one in this corner. We'll put, let's say, one in this corner and one in the diagonally opposite corner there. There we are. So that is a grand total of ten standing torches all ready to be providing light. Lighten up the situation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hey! All right, very, very cool. We've got a little bit of fire there, a little bit of fire there, and even more fire. One over there and one over there. Yeah! All right! <laughs> yeah! Looks like my base is on fire! I'm so glad that's not actually a thing. <laughs> Seems like a good enough a place as any for our little bed here. We could still, of course, access the uh, the torch right there. I think I accidentally threw my storage boxes onto the ground, and then I think I accidentally left them to despawn. So I guess we're going to have to make ourselves some more, because I'm going to put one behind my bed here as a little bit of a, I don't know, a belongings box. Uh, yeah, seems like a good way to go, right? And then the rest of the storage, I mean, it could just sort of be strewn across all over the place, really. Yeah, look at that, guys. Nice and snug, eh? Very, very cool. We've got plenty of space for a whole bunch of other crafting stations and whatnot. We'll have a cooking pot and a refining forge and God knows what else, guys. It's going to be a lovely time. But at the end of the day, we've gotten ourselves a nice little homestead. Let's do a little bit of... Huh? I'm trying to do a little bit of fishing here. Boom! There we are. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Caught fish. One. One. Can we have more than one? Is that even possible? I don't know. All right. Come on. Pull it back. Pull it back. I really do wonder if you can get something else. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's a little celebration. All right. How about over there? Go on. Get him. I'm kind of liking this fishing, though. It means that we have an easy source of prime fish meat if we want to be taming any kind of fish-related dudes later down the line, right? So that's kind of cool. Oh, snappers. Got ourselves another one, guys. It's a big one. Oh, it was as well. Look at that. We got uh, seven prime fish meat out of that. I mean, to be honest, I'm not actually going to be using the raw prime fish meat for anything. More than anything, I'm trying to see if you can actually get, like, other things, like treasure from fishing. If you can't, I must admit, that's a little bit disappointing. But I guess it kind of makes sense because, you know... This isn't Minecraft, I guess. I'm too used to playing that game, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, moving on, ladies and gents. We do have ourselves a level up. So once again, let's see what we can make here. We've got the patchy saddle. And once again, just a whole bunch of various other wares that we're probably going to be needing at some point or another. So yeah, I went for the mortar and pestle and a bunch of stuff you can make in the mortar and pestle as well. Oh, I just realized... This isn't raw prime fish meat. This is regular fish meat. So maybe the prime fish meat is the treasure you can get. Huh. Maybe that's just like a random chance of getting it, huh? Huh. That's kind of cool. I like that. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've done a little bit of exploring on the Lost Island map here. And I'm very, very excited to see where this series goes. How much more epic stuff there is to explore on this map, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm excited to have you guys with me along the journey. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think for now that's going to wrap it up for our very first episode here on Lost Island, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's first episode here and you're excited to see 
see more, then please do be sure, of course, to drop a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content as well. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, any hints, tips, and suggestions are always welcome in the comments area down below. So, of course, head down there. Don't hesitate, my friends. But for now, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.